What's the typical uh, Christmas Eve uh, plan here? Everyone just chills, like, has have some drinks, talk, talk some shit, tell some stories, um, open some presents, I think, later on in the night. And who, who's the biggest shit talker here? I think all of us, kind of. We create havoc. Cheers, Graham. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers. everybody. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Your mom said, and this was, I, I mean, when she was telling me, I thought it was kind of brutal. She said, uh, you know, you haven't been home for the holidays in at least a couple of years. You didn't get her a Christmas present last year. And you aren't one to do something unless you have a motive, like a vlog, she said. Yeah, I mean, in the past, I, I, can't, I can't lie, that's been true. I haven't always prioritized family first or second or even third. Like, when I moved out to Hollywood, I was on a mission that I was sure as hell I was gonna complete and no one was gonna get in my way. Not my family, not my enemies, not uh, a girl. Like, like I, was gonna, I was gonna do what I set out to do and that was become the greatest entertainer on the planet. And, and in that, I think I lost sight of what was actually important in life. Do I regret it? No, but like, they're, they're, my dad would, and mom both would beg me to get on the phone with them. Like it was hard to, to get me to talk to them just because I didn't, I didn't understand. I didn't understand what we, we would talk about, right? I just catch them up on what's happening in my life. Well, you, you just saw that online. That was like the daily vlog. You know exactly what's happening in my life. He didn't prioritize anybody except for Logan. And he's learning not, that there's other people. Wow, oh gosh, yeah. Mom, dad, Nina, the dog, you know. Um, just really paying attention and prioritizing. And that is what we all hope, because that is important and it's happening. Has a PDA been this way since day one? When we were first dating, Graham, no. She'd try to kiss me in, pro in public and I'd be like, you know, like, like keep it light. And then all of a sudden I started kissing her a little more in public and now, you know, we're tongue twisting <laughs> in a Bukati Beppo. We've never seen Logan like this. This is uh, cool. really always happy and content. And just really, you're you're real sweet. You know, you, you and me, you, you come up and you touch me more and stuff. And she served me into a softie. Yeah, that's it. We're all just pushing him to understand. You need to make the people in your life who have contributed to you feel felt and appreciated, because. One day you're going to get a call that you weren't expecting to get that someone that means a lot to isn't here anymore. And you made a YouTube video about filling your pool with Orbeez instead of being with that person who shaped your f***ing life. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. You're welcome, Bonnie. Thank you. you like them? Love. I love Solomon's. Yeah, Solomon's are the best. Love yeah. Solomon's. Priorities shift depending on where people are at in their lives. I notice mine shifting. Family is making its right way up the, the ladder. I have a gift for you, Jake. I feel like it's a toy of some sort. <laughs> Wait, when I went Bro. like that, I almost said it feels like a penis. Mom, put, <laughs> mom, put it down, a mom. Penis. Mom, a penis. put it down, mom. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're on television. No, stop, mother. <laughs> You're gonna regret it when you're sober. I've been told that you struggle with relationships that aren't transactional. That's not true. I struggle with relationships that aren't mutually symbiotic. If you wanna call that transactional, fine. But I struggle with relationships where one person is giving and one person is taking. I won't do that, no matter what. I think in any healthy relationship, both people are receiving. There's a give and a take that occurs on both sides that keeps a relationship energetically balanced. Most people give so they can feel something. It makes them feel good. Few people give without expectation in return. If you can live in that space, you're, you're a decent human. I've not been good at uh, giving in a way that the traditional human seeks for fulfillment, right? Like gifts to me, I don't, I don't get it. I have everything I want. Can you give me your time? That's plenty for me. Let me ask you this, yeah. since we're doing therapy. Yeah, yeah. Is that are my we fault? Do, are we doing this therapy? This is therapy, yes. Look at us. <laughs> this is therapy. Is that my fault? <laughs> because when I was growing up, yeah. do you know what my dad would give me for Christmas? Pop-Tarts, Pringles, and socks wrapped in newspaper. And he put it under a tree, 
and me, Jake, and him, and our dog, D.O.G., would open up our gifts every year. And they were the same every year. And guess what? Best Christmas of my life was fucking unbelievable. Wouldn't change it for a thing. Yeah. Because it wasn't about the gifts. It was about the fact that we were together. <laughs> This is horrible. <laughs> Christmas is 